Crystal Palace 2, West Ham United 3, and West Ham are fourth in the Premier League table. What a thrilling match. West Ham certainly do not make it easy for us for ourselves, and they love to keep their fans on the edge of our seats, because blimey, what a game that was. And that should have been a lot more than 3-2, but let's break it down, guys. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you haven't already. If you're never going to hit the like button now, after that result and performance, you're never going to hit the like button, realistically. Seven changes to the team that played against Doncaster. Pretty much our standard team that everyone sort of expects at the moment. Fabianski, Soufal, Dawson, Ogbonna, Cresswell, Rice, Suchet, Ben Rama, Fornells, Bowen, and Tonio. In the first five minutes, guys, it looked like typical West Ham. When there was a huge opportunity to go that one step further, we go and concede in the first five minutes. And it was down to our own fault. We lose the ball in the middle of the park. They win the 50-50. It comes to uh, Benteke and... He plays it off to Zaha, and it is, to be fair, a fantastic goal. It's a fantastic finish. Now, how could we have done better in that situation? Now, Zaha, there was a couple of times during that game where he was just sitting on the blind side of Rice and Suchek. And by the way, Declan Rice is absolutely phenomenal. But anyway, he gets on the blind side of Declan Rice and Suchek on this one occasion in the first five minutes. Rebounds, a 1-2 from Benteke, Zaha, fantastic finish Fair play. But this is what David Moyes has brought to this West Ham team. He's brought belief, courage. And I've said many times on this channel so far this year that when we go 1-0 down or even 2-0 down, I believe that this team can get back into it. And it's a collective thing. They all believe that. And we go and score not too long. We get the equaliser not too long after. Four nails. It's a fantastic ball. Antonio, a fantastic run off Kuyate. And he pulls the ball back for Thomas Suchek, who just comes in late, deep run. And those runs are so hard to mark. And he heads it in for the equaliser. And not too long after that, we score again to make it 2-1. Free kick from Aaron Cresswell. Deep cross in. Thomas Suchek, who controls it on his fire, puts it in at the, near, at the near post. And what a signing he has been. This guy is easily worth 40, 50 million. Seven Premier League goals, I think, so far now. And what a signing. What a signing he has been. And Antonio, let's talk about Antonio, because he did play really well today, but it just wasn't going right for him. And how many times have we hit the post this season? I think he's got 14 or so times. The ball comes to him on literally straight from the restart. Straight from the restart. Crystal Palace passed the ball back to Cheku Kiate. And because there was, you know, there was a bit of you know water on the pitch, you know, it slowed the ball ball down. You really had to, when you was passing the ball, just put a little bit more assertiveness, a little bit more power on the pass so it can reach your teammate. Kiate does it. He just sort of casually passes it. And Antonio's bearing down on goal. He does everything right, guys. Low and hard. And it clips the inside of the post and goes out for a goal kick. And it wasn't too long after that. Fantastic play by Ben Rama. And I thought Ben Rama today, he didn't get his assist, which he should have got. He didn't get a goal, but he was fantastic. And I think he, what David Moyes was trying to bring him, bring into, you know, Ben Rama. David Moyes knew he was a quality player. Technically, he was going to make it, but it's the other side of the game. And David Moyes wants his attacking players to be able to sacrifice themselves sometimes for the good of the team. And his work rate in order to try and win the ball back. It, the amount of times he won it in the middle of the park, it was about three or four times where he just stole, stole the ball from Milimojevic or MacArthur. Um, he was absolutely phenomenal today. I really thought Ben Rama, his best games for West Ham. And it was a coincidence that he supposedly come on the same day that West Ham are set to sign him on a permanent deal. I knew it was an obligation anyway, but he was phenomenal. Anyway, he gets down on that right hand side, he pulls it back for Antonio. It comes to four nails, and I'm thinking, why is he not shot? He's dummied it for Cresswell. Cresswell arrives on it late, hits it, comes back to Antonio, sort of a replica of the goal that we scored against Everton. He opens his foot up and he clips the post again. And, you know, Antonio, he's fuming at this point. He's fuming at this point. And I'm thinking at 2-1, you know, besides the first five minutes, we've been absolutely fantastic. We controlled the game. The two midfield players, Declan Rice, Suchet, we, we were absolutely fantastic man to a man. We were absolutely brilliant. And you're thinking at half-time, you know, we've had such a fantastic opportunity. We've seen sometimes this season that our ruthless, ruthlessness in front of goal has come to bite us. And in the second half, 
Apart from the first five minutes again, we carried on in the same same vein. We would have won on top and chances were coming to Antonio. Fantastic again by Ben Rahman. Ben, ben Rahman's on the right-hand side. He drives into the box. It's a fantastic pullback to Antonio. He's two yards out and he goes with his right foot. He sort of puts it in the direction of where Guaita, the Crystal Palace goalkeeper, is actually coming from. And it is a very good reflex save. But Antonio should have really got three or four. But in general, his hold-up play and his work ethic today, again, was absolutely fantastic. And whilst he's going to be frustrated, he's a striker, he's going to be frustrated that he hasn't got a goal but in general just being able to play the ball up to him he was the one that won us the second goal played the ball up into him and he won the free kick in general his hold up play was absolutely phenomenal and Ben Rama should have got the assist it was a fantastic save but then we do get the third goal and Craig Dawson Craig Dawson signed this guy on a permanent deal because whatever David Moyes is feeding him, he's been absolutely phenomenal. First five minutes, okay, the Crystal Palace goal, Benteke went into him, lent into him very well to sort of rebound the pass back to Zaha. Other than that, Dawson was very, very good. The timing of the challenge for some of his challenges today was very, very good. But he grabs his second West Ham goal. It's a fantastic ball in the box from Jared Bowen. And it's a fantastic leap. He was the one who wanted it more. He bullies Gary Cahill in there, smashes it in for 3-1. And we look like we're set to go fourth. And we could have even won this game by four or five. But then Crystal Palace do get a late goal. Yes, the last 10 minutes we sat back. David Moyes changes the system ever so slightly. He brings off, he brings off Bowen. He brings on... He brings on Ryan Fredericks, which I thought was a good change to help us try and combat the strengths of Crystal Palace, which is essentially get the ball out wide to Zaha or Eze and try to drive into the box. And I thought that was a very well-timed substitution. And David Moyes today got his spot on in terms of his tactics, in terms of you know his substitutions. I thought he'd done very well in that regard. They do get a late goal. Batshuayi plays... You know, he, he gets on the wrong side of Aaron Cresswell and he just sort of uses his body. We know Aaron Cresswell's not, you know, he's not built like a centre back, he's built like a fullback. You know, Batshuayi, big strong guy, good finish, 3 2, and in the final whistle goes. But what a job David Moyes has done in this football club. What a job he has seriously done. He has turned this football club in the space of what, eight, on, eight or so months from relegation candidates to believers. We're a team, you know, for the first time since 2015, that if we go a goal or two down, two down this team are going to roll roll themselves, they roll their shirts sleeves up, no matter what the conditions, sun, rain, snow, fog, and try and get a result. And that is what they've been doing at the moment. He, absolutely exceptional. We've got to give this man a new contract to ASAP because we are fourth in the Premier League table. Granted, we might be only there for a couple of hours, but if you would have said about the beginning of the season... You know what, guys, West Ham fans, you're going to be sitting fourth after 20 games, even if it might only be for a day or a couple hours. Guys, you'd be like, well, what the hell are you talking about? What a job David Moyes is doing. And regarding, you know, everything, if he wants a certain player like Jesse Lingard, he deserves the right so, you know, we've got to back him. We've got to back him in regards to transfers. What a job. We're fourth in the Premier League. And I'm absolutely ecstatic. And and guys, you know, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit you hit the like button for more West Ham videos because we've got Liverpool up next. And in terms of how they've been doing the league, there's no reason why we can't at home be the ones that beat Liverpool and even possibly consolidate our, uh, our position in the top seven, top six even further. What a job David Moyes has done. And I simply can't, I honestly simply can't believe it. Those were the games. How many times, you know, over the last couple of years or when we've had a good start or a good opportunity to do well and get into that fourth spot, we've never really been able to make that step closer. The amount of times we've, we've done it, I remember last time, Pellegrini, we was in a good form. We lost to Crystal Palace at home when we could have gone fourth and then our season derailed from there. He got sacked and Moyes has come in. Plenty of opportunities has happened, but this West Ham side We've got a different mentality now. You know, they work hard for each other. And just want to talk, you know, a couple of general performances. Declan Rice, absolutely phenomenal. That guy, since Thomas Suchek has been brought into this team and in this midfield, we've seen another side of Declan Rice. And for me, right now, I can't see a better CDM in the Premier League that's better than him. I honestly can't. And I'm not wearing my West Ham tinted goggles on. He was absolutely phenomenal. Thomas, Thomas Suchek, what a signing he has been. Dawson, absolutely unreal. Bo uh, Bowen, 
Ben Rama, four nails, I thought, thought four nails was fantastic. And I thought Ben Rama had his best game today for West Ham. Antonio was very good despite him not being not scoring. He should have had a hat trick today. But nonetheless, guys, I'm absolutely buzzing. Make sure you hit the like button. Check out my other West Ham videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We are fourth in the Premier League. Hit the comment section down below. Let me know how happy you are. Come on, you irons.